college. And while she wasn't exactly sure what she wanted to do, she knew one thing. But I wanted to get away. So at just 17 years old, she enlisted in the United States Army. 17-year-old me thought she was going in the Army for six years and then going to get out. Today, Heather is a decorated officer with a career that spans more than two decades. And as a woman, she's been a part of a lot of personal and professional firsts. Well, I was the first one in my family to go to college. I've done so many great things over my career that I, I'm so very proud of. Um, but graduating is, is definitely, graduating from West Point is is probably the top. Starting out as a helicopter mechanic, being one of the only females in a room wasn't unusual. It also wasn't always easy. When I first enlisted, and even when I first changed over and became an officer, it was a lot of women against women, you know, women soldiers picking each other apart. Almost 10 years after Heather enlisted, she met a girl with a very familiar story. Gretchen Dreyer was just 17 years old, looking to get away. I wanted to do something with my life other than working at the only gas station in town. By the time Gretchen enlisted in 2005, seeing more women was becoming more common. A good portion of us were females. We had our own barracks during basic training, and the barracks were full. Over the years, both have watched a slow and steady shift for the better. So you have to run faster. You have to work harder to work with with the men that you work with so it's it's definitely become a, a let's build each other up instead of tearing each other down most recently they witnessed the physical training test become gender neutral for the first time it'll give everybody a better understanding of everybody else's strengths and weaknesses today more women are working their way through the ranks than ever before I noticed that my superiors are more female as I go through my ranks giving the strength women like Heather and Gretchen have had from the start a chance to shine when I was enlisted I was a mechanic and every time I lifted my toolbox a, a man would ask me if I needed help, you know, and, and while it was chivalrous, it, it was, you know, it was like, I want to be on the same level, and now, it, now we're getting there. All right, here we go. I'm just always on the job. You can't just, you know, pull back for a year or two and expect people to remember you. I've never left the scene. So I, I try to think I'm relevant because I work hard all the time. East Tennessee's Dolly Parton showing no signs of slowing down. Her career already spanning more than five decades, earning her more than 47 Grammy nominations and more than 25 number one songs, as well as countless other movie and music accolades. While most people know her for her performances and, of course, her looks, it is a reading program called Imagination Library that has delivered more than a million free books to children across the world that stands out to her as one of her greatest accomplishments. As you know, it started because of my love for my dad. A lot of my relatives that didn't get a chance to go to school because they were country people having to work the fields. But as we all know, being one of 12 children and growing up in a one-bedroom country home near the Great Smoky Mountains never stopped Dolly. In fact, it has often been the inspiration of some of her greatest moments, like the hit song, Coat of Many Colors. It is true, we had no money, but I was rich as I could be in my coat of many colors that Mama made for me, made just for me. Today, Dolly's wardrobe quite different, often filled with sequins and bright colors, something Dolly has always said is quite intentional. I just think it's whatever suits you and you're comfortable with is what you should kind of reach out and do. Everybody don't want to look like I do. I'm usually so overdone, but it seems to work for me. And you might say going for it is exactly what Dolly did when she was approached about her first movie, 9 to 5. Not only was it a box office hit, it was a movie designed to shine a light on an important issue for women. Jane Fonda, who co-produced that movie, she's the one that came up with the idea. She got in touch with Pat Resnick, uh, who wrote the script, and it was just really a way to empower women and to really put women, you know, in the spotlight to say, hey, we know what we're doing here. We're good at what we do. We deserve to be paid for what we do. We need to be respected in the workplace. Despite her fame and fortune, Dolly has never wavered from her mission to give back and bring honor to her family. And even while we recognize Dolly, she has some advice for all of us women as well. Keep at it. Believe in yourself. Respect each other. Respect yourself and, uh, you know, just get out there and do what you know you can do and uh, don't take no bull from nobody. <laughs> Love it. Coming up.
meshing two worlds together that I've been a part of for a long time. She started her career in education. Now she's taking on a new role in schools. How one woman is inspiring young women to get involved in law enforcement. Kelly. I'm getting ready for madness in March by being mad as possible. Grr. That's not how it goes. It's the Subaru A Lot to Love event at Subaru of Champaign County. And there's a lot to love about the Subaru Outback and Forester. Both come with symmetrical all-wheel drive and have the highest resale value in their class. So your adventure is always a slam dunk. Drive a new Subaru today and start your adventure at Subaru of Champaign County, a dealership built around you. In 1872, a newspaper editor proposed a contest that would change the landscape of America's cities. On the Nebraska Prairie, J. Sterling Morton announced prizes to those who planted the most trees in one day. State by state, other cities joined in. It became a national holiday, Arbor Day. Today, you can join the Champaign Park District and plant trees through their Memorial and Growing Together tree program. This volunteer moment is brought to you by Wood Specialties. If what you want is a big bad truck and you want more truck for your hard-earned buck, want, ram, you're in luck. Pilsen Auto has more trucks and better deals than anyone. Every remaining 2018 Ram in stock takes 20% off MSRP during Ram Truck Month. That's 20% right off the sticker on the window. And tax time savings on nearly every vehicle in our massive inventory. You think Pilsen, you think truck. Deal so good you'll be thunderstruck. It's its youngest population. Christy Batista explains how the deputy handles being the county's first school resource officer. Kenny, unable to make contact. That sound is unmistakable. There's a deputy in the building. I really can't put into words about how excited I am. Deputy Lindsey Bross is the first school resource officer patrolling the halls of Monticello's Lincoln School. I've seen a difference between like the first day and right now. The first day, everybody was giving me looks like, what are you doing here? Who's in trouble? But now, look at I have. What? Who's that? They know no one's in trouble. Deputy Bross is there for them. I want the kiddos to know, find the police. The police will help you. Thank you. Is this mine? No. And even though Deputy Braz has only been in the school for two months, she has had to step in a few times. And Principal Mary Vogt says she's noticed a difference. They're the ones who are most excited to see her. They're the ones who recognize, hey, we talked. You're a pretty cool person, and, and they want to do a good job, and they want her to know that they're doing a good job. But Deputy Bross is not just patrolling the halls of Lincoln Elementary School. She's covering four districts in Piatt County. We are headed to Washington Schools in the high school. That's where, she says, sometimes things get a little tricky. Now it's my goal to actually have them interact with me and say a hi back to me. Sometimes when I say hi, they just kind of look down and continue on where they're going. Come on, let's see it. Well, today they're certainly interacting, but she says you really never know what you're going to get. Ready? I know with the high school it's going to take time for you to trust me and get to know me, and that's fine, you know, but I'm here to help you out, you know, that's why I want them to know. I'm here to help you out or, you know, just talk to you in general or, you know, just let you know that I'm here for you. Because at the end of the day, she doesn't want them to think of her as just a cop patrolling their schools. Yeah, like one more. Sometimes it's not always about law enforcement, which is what we want to get across, because I am just not a police officer or a deputy. I want to be an informal mentor to them, an informal teacher to them. You know, I just want to 
be everything that I can be to them besides just a police officer. Helping to shape and mold them throughout their school years. In Monticello, I'm Christy Batista. Debbie Bras spends two days at Monticello schools and makes her way through Bement, Saragordo, and Deland Weldon.